welcome back guys so i am ankit from all violet today i'll be dealing with how you can detect the covid-19 virus using crispr cas13 sherlock system so this crispr cas13 sherlock system is a very new thing where we use the same reverse transcriptase protein uh, pcr sorry but we use this protein lwa cas13 a protein okay so how we do it first step is the isothermal amplification followed by detection of virus rna using cas13 and followed by lateral flow of the dipstick the dipstick is nothing it's like those pregnancy test kits which you get in market it works similarly so first of all the isothermal amplification the things needed are two stem basic pcr mix is basically a pcr mix nothing more the second is protoscript to reverse transcriptase which is an enzyme basically this one i am talking about its number is mo368l we also have some s rpa em amp or orfa ab amp so this s rpa is nothing but the s protein in the virus how you can amplify the s protein rna and the orf1 ab is also a protein the more information about this s and orf1 ab can be found in my previous videos where i have dealt that how it actually enters the human cell I will add the link in the description. I will note the time mark. It's around one minute thirty-five. Okay. Now, coming to the detection of virus RNA using Cas13. Detection we need a cleavage buffer. There is four hundred millimolar of trees. Uh, the pH is seven point four. I have not written this. I have only a cleavage buffer. What it basically is a four hundred millimolar trees buffer, whose pH is around seven point four. The buffer is made with Double distilled RNA free water. We have superase RNA inhibitor. It is used that if any RNA has kept in the system, we can easily eliminate it. We have got the next gen RNA polymer is leucigen. Ribonucleotide solution set. The number is given. Magnesium chloride solution. We also need some magnesium acetate solution. We have LWA Cas13 a protein that I have I am was talking about initially. We have that and also. If you look properly, and if my camera is focusing really well, so we also have LWA Cas13 a CR RNA. It is a complementary RNA. I have already talked about the CRISPR technology in my earlier video, where I have mentioned that what is CR RNA, okay, reporter RNA. What is that? We have already discussed. So if you want, you can go and visit that in my channel. I will give. Uh, Reminder at this time point of two minute and fifty six seconds. Okay, next. So next is uh, after this we have the lateral flow dipstick. It is nothing but a hybrid dipstick, which is MGHD one, and also for all these steps we need double distilled water. So the first step we need to perform two sets of RPA reactions. This first step is basically called isothermal RPA reaction. So what we are going to do. We can resuspend the RPA solution which is available in the kit. We take 5.9 microliter of it. So 5.9 microliter of RPA solution. Along with that, we add SRPA forward V1. That is this one. Reverse and forward primer. The forward we add 0.5 microliter and the reverse also 0.5 microliter. We also have the protoscript reverse transcriptase with an enzyme. So this is the protoscript reverse transcriptase enzyme. The Concentration is around one hundred thousand micro uh, units enzyme activity units per ml. Okay, so basically we add it point two microliter. Okay, double distilled water is added one point four microliter. Sample is added one microliter. The sample can be nasopharyngeal swab or mucus. One microliter is added and magnesium acetate is applied in the kit. We add only point five microliter. Okay, so the resultant mix and uh, mixture is around ten microliter. For this isothermal amplification step, for both this SRPA and the ORF1 AB. Now coming to the next thing, the next thing is basically detection of virus RNA using Cas13. So for detection using Cas13, we need these all. I have already told about this. So first of all, uh, RNA virus. Okay, so first we are dealing with the RNA virus and how we can actually detect it in the system. So first we take. The LWA Cas13 a protein. Okay, so this is actually made ready. These protein solutions are made ready, 
and these protein solutions are already provided in the kit and we need only around 2 microliter of LW CAS 13A so I am talking about the, this protein and also we have got super -S RNAs inhibitor cleavage buffer 400 millimolar trees PA 7.4 2 microliter is added double distilled water around 1.6 microliter LW CAS 13A 2 microliter SCR RNA that is over there SCR RNA is also used in this case it is added around 1 microliter we have got a lateral flow reporter and this reporter is added 1 microliter super -S RNA is inhibitor why we are adding this because in the system there may be any RNAs so if RNAs is present it may chop our RNA of interest so we are using this RNAs inhibitor lucigen T7 polymerase 0.6 microliter we are adding this polymerase for the uh, essential making of the RNA hybrids and also we are getting magnesium chloride it's for stringency purposes such that the reaction is stringent and any false kind of results can be eliminated properly also we have got the RPA reaction from step 1 that is we are talking about this so these all are mixed the resultant mixture over here will be 20 microliter for both SRPA and ORF1 AB each contains so in this step it was 10 microliter for this 10 microliter for this in this step it becomes 20 microliter for this and 20 microliter for this now after all this step in step 3 we just add around 80 microliter of this hybrid dipstick assay buffer the assay buffer is basically the storage buffer okay the storage buffer is already kept prepared in the in the kit we are using in this case and this this place hybrid dipstick is used and we are then allowing this to be incubated at room temperature for something around 30 35 minutes or 40 45 minutes and after some time we take and we assay it and this hybrid dipstick the mixture we made of all, all these mixtures it will flow through this hybrid dipstick it will rise around the hybrid dipstick this dipstick is nothing like stick like thing the mixture will flow up and thus when it flows up we get two control lines for positive control we get two lines for negative control we get one line and our sample if it is positive we get around two lines if it is negative we get around one line okay and this all are done with a positive control of srna and orf1 ab rna highly purified so this srna and orf ab rna it will be rna this rna what these are and why we are using this what is orf and what is s I have already dealt in my previous video so I will give, give a description to that a card to that basically so after all this if both S and ORF 1AB RNA is positive then the confirmed infection is detected so this is how we can use the COVID-19 CRISPR-Cas13 Sherlock system for detecting whether COVID-19 is present in the system so here we are isothermally amplifying the RNA okay such that in the sample the RNA level is increased over here virus RNA we are detecting the virus RNA using stringent conditions of magnesium chloride using the Cas13 uh, Cas13 proteins and along with that we are using Cas13 actually complementary RNA protein and also we are using with us the reporter RNA to actually provide that how much RNA is over there it's reporting it basically and the lateral flow headed readout using the hybrid dipstick and then the resultant is obtained in this in positive control two line negative control one line the sample is over there so this is how the entire covid-19 steps take place and by using the simple crispr cas13 i've already explained that was cas9 this was cas13 nothing much different but using this crispr technology we can easily detect how much covid-19 is present in our system so this one unique test i have talked about so i would just like to because my camera quality is not that bad not very bad actually so i would like to zoom into the board so that you can see that what i am talking about what are the reaction mixtures and listen to this video properly you will get to know what happening there